a good win today. Um, excellent second half. Obviously, the first half was not very, not very pretty, but uh, played a lot better in the second half. Um, you know, I think that uh, you know we hit some long balls that helped. Uh, some of the play action passes. Uh, uh, Jefferson, uh, you know, made a great catch for one touchdown, and uh, we got some protection on the other one. So uh, we didn't protect very well in the first half. And then defensively, for the most part, we played pretty well all day. Um, caused a lot of harass the quarterback a lot. Um, obviously, Pat Peterson's interception for the touchdown was big, and uh, it was nice to get a win. Mike, after the game, it looked like you got to take a photo with Adam, wave to some fans, just kind of take it all in. What was that moment like for you? No, it was just something that we planned on doing. Um, you know, Andre and I and Adam haven't had a picture together, so we just we talked about it before the game. Have you heard anything about your job status, and what are your thoughts just on the rumors? No, I haven't heard anything about my job status. I haven't heard anything about yours either. Do you think there was a chance this could have been your last game as a Vikings coach? Not my choice. Not my decision. Are you aware of how close Justin Jefferson was to... Yes. I was. I don't care about records. All I care about is wins. Did he care about it? Pardon me? Did he care about it? I don't know. Maybe you have to ask him. Mm -mm. Mike, what are you um, most proud of when you look back at the eight years that you've been here? Let's, let's not go there today. We want to talk about it tomorrow. We can just talk about it tomorrow. But... This isn't time to uh, re, re con, you know, collect for eight years. Mike, what are you thinking about at the end of the season? Then? Pardon me. What, if the season's over. What what is the first thing on your mind about what you know, the last seventeen games just took place? Well, we lost some games we shouldn't have lost to. You know, we we missed a kick in Arizona um, to win the game. You know, we gave up a touchdown against Detroit because uh, we went too too deep in the end zone. Um, you know, the Dallas game, we should have won that one. Um, I'm sure there's more. So, but your record is what you what it says it is. Do you, feel, do you feel like the team came out with a lack of energy today, just given that it was a no stakes game? I don't know. You'd have to ask them. I, don't, I mean, we didn't play very good in the first half, I can tell you that. Played a lot better in the second half. Why do you think that was? Well, they kind of kicked our butts in the first half. I mean, they, were pat, they rushed. We couldn't run the ball. We, you know, we tried to throw it on first down, and we we get an incompletion on second and ten. We run it, it's third and eight. I mean, you know, we didn't we didn't impose our will in the first half at all. How, how important do you think it was stopping them on fourth down in the first half? They, they could have been. At yeah, they, you know, when we played them last time, they went for it on fourth down like three or four times and didn't get it, you know, instead of kicking field goals. And, you know, we kind of knew that was going to be the way it was. But, um, you know, those were all good stops. You know, those are like getting turnovers, you know. And then, you know, we didn't – second half, we we got another interception. We didn't do much with that offensively. And then uh, I think we stopped them on fourth down. I don't remember everything. What was the difference in Kirk Cousins? He got off to a rocky start with under a lot of pressure. Yeah. What was the difference in turning it around for him and for the protection? Well, I think the protection was was better, uh, but it started with some of the play actions. Um, you know, he, he didn't look too good in the first half, but he, he played a lot better in the second half. Mike, what do you like best about Amir and KJ's game now that they hit the last game? Well, KJ's a guy that's really improved a lot over the course of the year. Um, you know, he comes into work every day. Uh, I think he's gained a lot of confidence in his abilities, and he can play all the, all the positions. Um, you know, Smith Marset is very talented. Um, <clears throat> probably needs to continue to learn how to be a professional. Uh, it was good to see him out there because he is talented. He made a couple of nice catches today. Um, but moving forward, that's what he's got to do. You know, he, he's got a chance to be a really good football player, but he, he's got to be, you know, on point. He's got to do things right. He's, you know, um, just how it is. Uh, <coughs> mentioned uh, after he ran a route that he didn't break open on. He talked to Adam Thielen on the sideline about how he could have broken open on that route. Is that the sort of thing that you're looking for from him? From Marset? Yes. 
there's a lot of things. You know, I wouldn't just say one thing, but I mean, the kid's talented. He's talented. Um, he's got to be more disciplined. And maybe, I don't know what, at, you know, because I'm doing stuff during the game. I don't know what they're talking about. So, but maybe that was what it was. Coach, I know that um, individual stats aren't the focus, but Pat Peterson had said earlier this week that he really wanted to get an interception this game so that he had one for the season, I guess. Just the fact that he got the pick and then the touchdown, what did you appreciate about that for him? Yeah, well, you know, Pat has been a true professional when he comes in here. We talk, you know, we, I've talked to him a lot the last couple of days, and, um, you know, he comes to work every single day. He takes care of his body. He, he uh, wants to get better all the time. Um, you know, so it was nice to see him make a make a play like that and uh, and then uh, score with it. I know he'll he'll be happy about that. Mike uh, Anthony Barr becomes a free agent. It's uncertain what's going to happen with him against that backdrop. How good was it to see him have a big game like he did today? Well, <clears throat> like I've said before, Barr is um, a terrific person. He's a really good football player. He does an awful lot of things for this team, this organization, for the community. Um, he's extremely smart. Um, he's, a, he's a guy that I respect an awful lot. What really enabled the pass rush to be so effective with seven sacks? I know that he had a lot of pass plays. Yeah, well, you know, I think it's always a combination of things. We had a couple free runners, obviously, but we had some young guys beat some guys. And, um, you know, so that was that was good. DJ Wanham grabbed a couple of snack, uh, a couple of sacks. How was his development as a pass rusher uh, moving forward this year? Yeah, it's getting better. Um, you know, he's um, he works really hard. He's a good kid, very smart. You can do a lot of things with him. Um, you know, it's a, with a lot of these young guys, it's a little paint by numbers, and uh, he has to uh, um, you know continue just to. Be an athlete, and that's you know that's that's his best attribute is being an athlete. I mean, he probably could play linebacker. Time for two more. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> thought this thought this was going to be a sabbatical or something. <laughs> Mike, if you look back now that the season's over, do you feel like as a whole you were given everything you needed to succeed this year? Or was there more that you felt like this team needed? Yeah, let's not let, let's talk about that another time. One more. The players and the effort. Pardon me. How about the players and the effort that you got out of them this season? Can you talk about what they gave you this year through all the issues that they had to get through this season? Yeah, obviously these last two years with COVID and the protocols and guys not getting vaccinated and missing games and everything was, you know, it's been really difficult. But, um, you know, like I told, I think I told them the night, last night maybe in the meeting, um, I appreciate the way that this team goes about their business, the way they work, the way they represent the team, the way they represent the organization, um, <clears throat> the way they come out to practice every single day, the way they go in the weight room, they go into meetings. You know, it's we don't have a lot of, um, I can't say the word I'm wanting to say, but we don't have a lot of guys that, uh, you know, just are just cashing checks. They're, they're trying, they're trying to get better each and every day. Okay. Thank you.